Hi everyone, welcome back to Early Life. Today I would like to share my thoughts on a book that really left an impression on me. Resurrection Day. この本のタイトルは復活の日です。This novel paints a grand picture of overwhelmed hospitals, pile of bodies, and a scarcity of food, pushing humanity to seek refuge in Antarctic. And the result to unconventional means for survival. These underlying costs: human grief, the unchecked exploitation, expansion, and the consumption. Echoing the book's message, crises stem from human grief. Nations, in their pursuit of dominance, disregard of everything. Greed and sustainability. This novel's depiction of greed reflects today's issue of overconsumption and the environmental neglect. At the at our delight, we are committed to sustainability with an innovation to minimize our environmental impact during the manufacture of our delighting products. Human instinct and survival. The emphasis on human instinct for survival reminded me of Arthur Lee's resilience in facing challenges, always seeking innovative, lighting solutions in adversity. Contemporary revelations, despite being written in 1964, Revelation Day offers significant insight for today. It prompted us to deepen our understanding of current societal and environmental challenges. At our delight, our forward-thinking approach addresses contemporary issues. Hope and resilience. The book combines both the instinct and for survival and hope, aligning with our delight's mission. Despite the pandemic, human resilience. Shines through, revealing a glimpse of hope amidst global changes. In conclusion, Resurrection Day makes us reflect on the consequences of greed and aligns with our our delight's commitment to sustainability innovation. It is a reminder that even in challenging times, there's room for hope and positive change. If you read this book or have thoughts on the topics discussed, share them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content. Until next time, stay curious and keep watching. See you.